All right, so now that we have a lot of AI coding tools floating around, creating a highly complex web app is that simple. So you could go ahead and give all the requirements and the features that you want. And with the press of a button, the AI coding tool will go ahead and write the entire code, install all the packages and take care of everything, create the API routes and structure the full app. And it can even deploy the website in a single click. Now, if a person with no coding background wants to develop an app, all these AI tools make the things extremely easy and you know, with a press of a button, they can have their app live. But the main problem comes when we want to test the app to ensure that our app is working exactly the way we want to and our app does not have any security vulnerability or any other problem. So if a person with no coding knowledge wants to do all of that stuff, it becomes incredibly difficult and in this point, you'll have to hire someone who knows what they're doing. Now this is where Test Sprite comes into play and Test Sprite is yet another AI tool where you can go ahead and test your application in a single click. So I will show how you can create an app using AI and also test the same using Test Sprite AI agent so that you can be 100% sure that your app is working correctly and does not have any security vulnerability and if it has the AI will tell you all that and you can go ahead and fix it using AI. Now if that sounds interesting without wasting further ado let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is V0 and this is the tool that we'll be using to develop an app today. And specifically, we are going to create a Qs website where the user can go ahead and enter a URL of an article or let's say paste some content. And with the press of a button, the website will create a quiz with let's say four options and the user can interactively use the quiz. So after creating the quiz, it will be shown instantly on the screen with one question, four options. And that way the user can instantly turn any article or any textual resources into a quiz in a single click. So that's basically the app that we're trying to build. So I'll go ahead and enter a prompt, something like this. Create a quiz website in Next.js where the user pays an article or some textual content and upon clicking the generate button, 5 to 10 quiz with 4 options should be generated and displayed on the screen. The quiz should be shown one after the other and if user selects the wrong answer, the correct one should be highlighted in green and if user selects the correct answer, a confetti should be shown on the screen. And let me also add, use OpenAI API for this. So we need an LLM for this to work and I'm instructing the model to use OpenAI API for the same. Now this is the prompt that I'm going to give initially and I can go ahead and click on the send button. And now we sort of will go ahead and start writing the code. So here we have explained all the requirements right now we sort of will take all that into account and start writing the code and let's wait till it is done and by the way if you don't already have a account in v0 you can head over to v0.dev and sign up for a free account and it says to use nvon variable this chat must be inside a v0 project so i'll go ahead and click on this option that says add to a project let's select this one demo and it is asking me to enter my open ai api key so let me quickly go ahead and grab that so i can go to platform.openai.com and head over to let's say settings api keys and create a new secret key let's say demo select a project and again if you want to get a open ai api key you will have to add your credit card information and you can uh, access an api key if you don't have let's say uh, if you don't want to spend anything on api key but still want to use an llm you can go ahead and use google gemini model so even without adding a credit card you'll be able to grab an api key so that's for that. So I head back in here and paste my open AI API key in here and I can hit on the submit option. So it says the environment variable open AI API key has been added to the virtual project. And yeah, let's wait till it is done. All right, so seems like the initial version of our web app is done. So it says article quiz generator and it is asking us to enter the article content in here. So I have quickly opened up the Wikipedia page of Apple and I'll go ahead and copy, let's say this uh, first a couple of paragraphs and I'll go ahead and copy it and now I'll go ahead and paste the same in here and click on the generate quiz button and it is now loading and hopefully after sending this to the OpenAI API and after getting all the quizzes back it should nicely display the same in the screen and we should be able to you know access the quiz and select the correct answer or wrong answer and yeah we'll take it up from there so let's wait all right so there you have it so the AI has created five quizzes and we have a nice uh, box in here container and we have the question in here so where is the headquarters of Apple Inc located so it's Cupertino California and as you can see when we select the correct answer we have a nice confetti effect that's exactly what we asked in the initial prompt that we give if the user selects the correct answer show a confetti all right so click on next question who were the founders of Apple Inc Steve Jobs Bill Gates nope Steve Jobs not this one okay so it seems like this one and again we have a nice confetti effect in the next one let's just go ahead and select a wrong answer uh well i don't even know which year was apple founded so let's see 
Oops. So Apple was founded in 1976. So let's just go ahead and select a wrong answer. Let's say 1990. And this time around, when we select a wrong answer, the same is highlighted in red and the correct answer will be highlighted in green. Click on next question. Let's say so Tim Cook next. 3.74. All right, so that's it. And now after the quiz ends, it does not really show us the scores or our performance. And again, the website looked too basic. Now let's just go ahead and fix that. So I can go ahead and say after completing the quiz, a page should appear where it shows the results like the score etc also add a progress bar to the quiz to track the progress and yeah also style the app in a modern way now this is the prompt that will give and I can hit enter. So the AI has started writing the code and hopefully after completing our quiz, a results page will show with our score and other details. So let's wait. All right, so it's done. So let me quickly go ahead and paste a content, click on generate quiz. So we pasted the exact same content and let's wait. All right, so we have a progress bar in here. Let's say Cupertino. Okay, we have this icon right here, so that's good. Next, let's select random answers okay all right okay so now we have a quiz completed and results page so it says we have 40 percent score we got two answers correct and the time spent is 16 seconds now this is exactly what we wanted and now let's just say i want to create a landing page for my app that i just developed and also move the main quiz app to let's say slash quiz uh, section so i can go ahead and say create a stunning looking and I can go ahead and hit enter and hopefully we sort of will go ahead and create a landing page for us and also move the core app to the slash quiz page. So let's wait till it is done. All right. So though we have a landing page, so I can open it up in full screen. So this right here is the landing page that the AI has created for us and we don't really have so many colors in here, right? So let me just go ahead and say add some colors and gradients to make it look more attractive and I can hit enter let's wait all right so now the website looks a bit more interesting we have a lot of different colors going on in here we have a footer section we have navigation bar and if I click on the try it now option okay we get some error so I can click on the fix with v0 option and again in, if you encounter some kind of error while using the app you can go ahead and click on the fix with v0 option and that should fix the error for ourselves so I can click on the send button and let me let me wait all right, so the changes should fix the error you encounter. And if I click on the try it now button, it should take me to the quiz page. And yes, there you have it. And now we have the core functionality of our app done and ready. And now let's just move to the main part and that is testing the app that we just developed. And now I know it's a fairly simple app and the core intention of the video is to let you guys know how to test your app after deploying it. And again, let me go ahead and click on this deploy button right here to deploy it to Vercel. So I hope you already have a Vercel account. I mean, obviously, if you want to create an account on V0, you will have to create a Vercel account. And if you click on this confirm and deploy option, V0 will go ahead and deploy this particular project into your Vercel account. So it says building this particular project and it should be done in less than one minute. So let's wait till it is done. All right, so our app is now deployed and if I visit this URL right here, I should be able to access our app that we just coded. And if I click on the try now button, I can access the AI quiz generator. And so far, pretty much everything looks good to me, but only if we do a thorough testing, we'll be able to find any problem that we have with the website. And to test our app today, we are going to use Test Sprite. And for starters, Test Sprite is an AI agent for software testing. So all you got to do is to hit the first link in the description below and sign up for an account at testsprite.com. And this is the platform that we'll be using to test the app that we developed today. And the first thing that you got to do is to sign up for a new account and you can log in to your dashboard. And here I'm logged into my test sprite account. And the next thing that I got to do is to click on this option that says create a new test and it will ask you to name your test. So I'll go ahead and enter, let's say a name, let's say demo, and I can click on the start option. And now the first thing that we got to do is to test the backend. So if you look at it here, you can see, okay, let me move over to the code and we can, we have a API route called generate quiz and we have to make sure that particular route, I mean, the API is working as expected and is also secure. So all I got to do is to enter that URL in here. So I can go ahead and say, uh, put the API endpoint in here. And how do we find it? 
in this case this is our app address so i'll go ahead and copy it and paste it in here and after that i gotta put slash api slash generate quiz so this is our api route let me confirm it once again so generate quiz yes so that's our api route and in this api route i don't think we are using any kind of authentication so i can go ahead and select this option that says none so a person who does not know anything about authentication or api security or anything uh, who just uses a tool like v0 or lovable or any other tool to create an application this is what the ai will write the code right and when we try to test it when the authentication type part comes in we will quickly realize that we don't have really have any kind of authentication in place so i'll go ahead and select as none and we have an api endpoint url in here and next up if you want to you can go ahead and enter a credential or key and again upload a api docs or extra testing instructions so if you have a comprehensive api docs you can go ahead and upload it in here so let's say you're working on a real project and you want to sort of uh, test your application and someone from your team has created an extensive documentation you can go ahead and upload it in here but in this context we don't really have a api docs so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and ask v0 to create one for us so i'll go ahead and say i am testing the slash api slash generate quiz api using a tool called test sprite could you please create a api create a api docs and testing instructions give to me and i'll go ahead and hit enter all right so v0 has given us an extensive api docs or the uh, testing instructions document so i'll go ahead and copy this one from here so i can copy everything from here all the way to the end and i'll copy it and i'll head back to test sprite and put those information in here so we have pretty much everything pasted in here and again if you have a comprehensive api docs you can go ahead and upload it in here and i'll go ahead and click on next and now it is going to use AI to generate a test plan. So it will analyze the document that we uploaded and also the instructions that we passed and create a test plan and it will run it for itself and show the results to us. So let's wait till it is done. And now it is asking us to select the test plan. So we have basic functional test, edge case test and error handling test. Now I'm going to select all and I can click on click on next and if you want to you can also go ahead and create additional test by clicking on this option and you can enter custom instructions and create a testing plan but for now i'll keep all three of these selected and click next and now this is where the ai will go ahead and generate and execute the test code and test our api using different code and this way we'll be able to notice all the edge cases and all the security weak points or maybe all the problems that we have with this api right here so let's wait till it is done all right so test sprite has done an extensive testing on our api and it is now uh, showing us the result so here we have details we have a basic functional test then edge case test and also error handling test and edge case test and error handling test all of them seems to be okay though we don't have any kind of errors but it seems like we have a problem with basic functional test and i'll click on the first one and it says verify the returned option list contains exactly four strings for each question and it says the response is not a list all right so we have some problem with this one right here so basically for each questions there should be exactly four options or answers and that is what it has tested and seems like we have some problem in here and if you click on this option you'll be able to find more details about the error the causes it says the cause is the potential cause of the json decoder error is that the api is returning an empty response or a plain text leading to an invalid json format all right so seems like there's a bit of a problem with the json formatting and if you click on this fix tab you'll be able to find the fix for you know solving this particular issue right here and next up let's just move to this one right here it says send a request with json header to check content type validation and ensure correct processing and all right next up we have this one right here Test quiz generation with a typical educational paragraph to verify response contains correct format of the questions and options. And again, they used some random text uh, to test the API and the API just returned one question and four answers, like five or six of them. And that is working. Our API did a fairly good job and we have some problems in here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and copy all these details, head back to V0 and put everything in here and start using it. And again, you can go ahead and pass all these details and information and you can ask AI to fix it by yourself. And after everything is done, you can again go ahead and run a test, like rerun this particular test and you can find more options. And again, if you want to, you can also go ahead and ask testing related questions right here. For example, let me go ahead and ask, can you please explain a bit more about this? test 
let's say i'm a newbie and i don't really understand what exactly this is about and it says the test is designed to verify that the api endpoint for generating a queue returns a list of items all right so this is the information and this way you can go ahead and ask pretty much any questions that you will have and the ai will go ahead and answer it for you and for now i'll leave it as it is and i'll go ahead and click on this option that says save and continue and the next part is that we are going to test our front end so we can go ahead and put our the url of our app in here so i'll go ahead and paste our home page url in here so i can click on add more urls and maybe also the url of our queues app so i'll go ahead and put it up in here and if you want to you can also go ahead and give additional informations in here but for now i'll just go ahead and click on the next option and let it test for itself so let's wait till it is done all right so test sprite has created a testing plan and if you want to you can click on this icon to view the details for now i'll go ahead and click on select all and we are testing all this stuff yeah i can click on the next option and again if you want to you can also go ahead and add custom test in there so let's wait till it is done all right so the ai agent in test sprite has tested the front end of our application that is this quiz generator right here and also this particular home page and here we have the test result so for the url one that is our home page right here we have a couple of issues in here so it says check that all the links in the footer lead to their correct pages and obviously the test is failed because we don't really have any all of these are actually dummy urls and none of these actually exist except for this one right here so that's okay and again in a real world project if you have some links like this and you have you got error like this you can go ahead and fix it so this way you can realize that okay if i click on this tutorials page it is leading to a 404 page and i cannot access anything so you can go ahead and fix that and again now let's go ahead and move to the url 2 and again the same thing so we have ensure that a live alert region updates correctly and informs the user of the update regarding the quiz generation test its assertive role okay i'm not sure what does this mean but you can just go through each of these tests and find the details as to what is failed and what needs attention and you can go ahead and take it up from there in fact test sprite also shows you a preview of what it done for example this one right here i can click on this play button and it should show me what it exactly it did so it loaded the AI quiz generated section right here and we can find a screen recording of the same. And if I move over to the let's say first one and let's uh, let's say this one right here. So I can find a preview so I can click on the play option. Alright so here we have loaded our page and this is how the agent will see about the website. And as soon as the agent clicks on this try it now button it is actually taking us to the quiz generator page. And if you want to you can also find the code for the same test case in here. So that's how simple it is to test both the backend and the frontend of an application that you've developed using AI. And for now, I'll go ahead and click on the save and continue option. And as you can see, it's ready to launch and the quality score is 75. So yeah, we have a test summary in here. What is good? What could be better? Recommendations. So 9 out of 15 uh, frontend test is passed and also 9 out of 12 backend test is also passed. And again, if you want to, you can find all this information in here. And now I'll go ahead and click on save and close. So this is how simple it is to test your AI generated applications using an AI agent within testsprite.com. So all you're going to do is to sign up for an account at testsprite.com. So once you have your application ready, you can go ahead and enter the details into this testsprite.com website and you can go ahead and check it out yourself. And once everything is done, you'll be able to find all the uh, analysis and report in the history section right here, all test option. So yeah, you, you can refer to that anytime you want to. So basically, this is how simple it is to create apps using AI and on top of all that test your app to make sure that it is free of any bugs security vulnerabilities and pretty much everything works so like the next time onwards when you generate an app using ai make sure to use test sprite to check the app so that you can be 100 sure that all the functionality works the way it is intended to and also your app does not have any security vulnerabilities i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one